Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of TV8 Sports. This time we have the UW Sheboygan Women's Volleyball on their final home game of the season. They will be playing tonight against Lily Fox Valley. Starting for playing for Fox Valley, we have Alisa Burgess, Carliot, Joanna Sharpinski, Stephanie Anderson, Ashley Tauber, Jess Gillow, Megan Labarge, and Sarah Benish. And playing for Sheboygan, we have Tammy Muir, Sarah Wamman, Jessica Kress, Megan Muhas, Stephanie Kims, Peggy, Jackie Kramer, Amy Gabriels, and Rachel Lifford. Actually, Rachel will not be playing tonight. She did uh, injure her injure her hand. Actually, broke her. Let, well, uh, no, it was right hand. Broke her right hand in Friday night's competition, so she will not be playing. Jackie Kramer is also going to be playing with a broken pinky on, I do believe, her right hand also. Well, I did not know there was, you know, problems with... Uh... Yeah, coming into the game, Bob, they got some injuries. My name is John Wickard, by the way. Along with me is Bob Broxma. And we'd like to welcome you to, welcome you to tonight's game. It will be a best three out of five in tonight's game. And Kramer to serve. As it falls in, you have Fox Valley off the early week. In the last televised game that we uh, televised, TV8 Sports televised of the girls, let me tell you, Bob, they were hitting the ball, they were putting it down, and they got the first win of the season. That was quite the exciting game. That was a nice save by Sheboygan. <laughs> Fox Valley swings were nicely dug. Ooh, Sheboygan scores a quick point right off the bat with that. Let's see if Sheboygan get the serve down, get the points rolling their way off of their offense. Walking back to the surf slide, Paige Weird. Hammers one over. Tipped over. Weird goes with the bump. And Paris, Jessica Paris just taps that one over just enough. That was nicely placed. Gives Sheboygan a slight lead of one point. Weird goes serves. Three ball. Miller sets. Kara is swinging again. Doug nice and much more. Set by Kramer and Miracle puts that one under the net. Got a little excited on that attack. Her timing was a tad off. That so was Carly. Carly. Uh, excuse me. Kaylee Ops, you have to Fox Valley. Nice to by Shaboyan. a little disorganized there. Let's see if they can get that one back around. Free ball over for Shaboyan. Set by Kramer. Miller takes a swing and it's long. Good to see him swinging early. Ooh. Now that's what you call a block. Nice job at the net by Amy Gabriels. Coming into the game, Sarah Workman coming out. Uh, Stephanie Curry. Had a nice serve by Gabriels. And that violation on Workman. Sheboygan at least has the blockers up front. Good thing to see early. I believe that's where Sheboygan can be the strongest. They fight right up in the net. Served by Alicia Burgess. 
and Miller chats that one over. Set by Kramer. And Worthman puts it deep. And the ball falls in favor of U.S. Sheboygan. Fox Valley had a little bit of mis miscommunication there. And it ends up Sheboygan's point. A little break for the line judges. Right, another nice serve by Miller. Gabriel's bump. Workman puts it over. Miller with a nice bump. Terrace is set over quick. Nice bump. Set by Miller. Oh. Joss misses an attack. Good thing to know that it's Workman's first year pretty much playing organized volleyball, having a good start to this game. Let's see if she can keep it up, maybe get some blocks in the middle for Sheboygan. It's not what we like to see with Sheboygan. That was a close one. Let's see if Sheboygan can come back and get that lead back. That's where we group here. The score currently is four to seven. Fox Valley's lead. And that uh, off and out of the serve is good in rally score. These teams do play up to 30. Every time you either receive serve or score on your serve, you do get a point. And the day by Suburban. Fox Valley pulling out a five point lead here at four to nine. Mm. Follow the carry, I gotta say, that's a tough carry. And Schwartz takes a timeout. Coach Walensky wants to reel that lead back in and see if Schwartz can get a hold of him. I do believe this is. A perfect timeout for Sheboygan. It seems that Fox Valley has momentum going into this game right now. Sheboygan did kickstart their offense right away. Let's see if they just get the ball back, get some serves to fall in and return. He just had to make some good returns. They'll be right in this game. I must say, Fox Valley is really riled up for this game. Valley, that is Jessica Love. As there we go, looks like that could be the break. Should more you need it. Let's see if they can roll back into this game. The coach was very wise in calling that timeout. Regrouped, and now they got the ball. Harris puts the serve up. And a nice attack up front by that was Kramer, I did believe. And Kramer up to the block, nicely done by Sheboygan. And Miller taps that one over. We got great communication. Great communication on Sheboygan's part there. That was a little bit of hard work. Got some luck in there and Coach Sheboygan. Karras is serve. Nice serve. Joanna Sharfinski. Someone's got to tell her to put those guns away. That was long. Sheboygan is making a beautiful run here as the score is. Another nice serve by Harris. Puts, the, puts Fond du Lac deep on their heels and not able to make a solid dig on the serve. Sheboygan just taps that one up for the point. Good work at the net by Sheboygan to block that. Worthman just can't get it over. Score is now. Eight Sheboygan, 11 Fox Valley. Miller with the 
set. Kramer with the swing. She was just a, just a little bit low on the net there, otherwise she would have had that one over. Sheboygan is doing a good job at this point communicating with each other. Harris uh, a little off position that one. And takes a weird bounce off the Nicely dug by Sheboygan. There with the bump. Kramer puts that one over. Out comes Workman, and coming back in is Kimmy. Nice serve, and takes her mind off the ball for a split second. There's Sheboygan. An ace is exactly what Sheboygan needed to get back into this game. Kimmy with another nice serve. Sheboygan doing good work at the net right now, and that's keeping them in this game at a score. Sheboygan 11, Fox Valley 13. And it's more of miscommunication on Fox Valley. Let's see if Sheboygan will take advantage of it. Kramer with a nice attack. She's off to a good start in this game. It's Jackie Kramer. I must say, Kramer is getting quite a bit of kills in this game. Over turn by Fox Valley, points Sheboygan. Scores all tied at 13. That's two aces on this run for Sheboygan so far. Kimmy puts it back over. Lockers are up. That looked like it could have been long. Sheboygan played it. And Kramer puts one down again. Jackie Kramer, a setter, middle hitter, 5'8", second year from New Holstein. Timeout, Fox Valley. Lead 14-13, Sheboygan. Fox Valley must be trying to ice Sheboygan right now, but I really don't think it's gonna work. Sheboygan seems to be on a roll. They've, they've taken the lead right now. As you can see, Sheboygan looking pretty good about the roll they're, that they're on. You can see there, Rachel is a fever dressed out of uniform with the broken hand. All smiles on Sheboygan's part right now. They're communicating good, they're attacking the net, and Jackie's been getting great, great kills so far. Coach Molesky giving some last minute words, getting called out on the floor, and there they go. Um, she stopped the clock and we sure. If we're not out here, let's go. If I just blow my whistle, that means that, that's 15 seconds. Don't stop the clock. Okay. And Kimmy to serve. Another good serve. Deep added in the center. And Fox Valley puts it in the net. Number five, Joanna Sheboygan is now halfway to winning this match. Sheboygan <laughs> keeping it busy at the net. Scores points for them. I'd have to say the network for Sheboygan is different points. Another good serve by Kimmy. Get up! Playing on the ceiling, handled well by Miller. Over by Weir. Black Valley swings in the net again. Sheboygan did have his blockers right there. Sheboygan's taking a very comfortable lead at this point, up by four. Confusion on the call, the call in, point, Fox Valley. And that's the call by Coach Blasky in that one. 
Boyden takes control once again. And making her way back to the line is Jack Kramer. Another good start by Kramer. That is a spot for two. And three ball for Fox Valley. Let's see what they do. All points to Boyden. That's something like that hurt as she dived for the ball. You got to give a little skin to get the win, you know? Dug well by Kramer. That's always tough when you, you dig it like that and you end up setting the other team. Sheboygan leading 19 to 15. Let's see if they can get that serve back and get some points. Kramer with the set. There was way too many people in the same area on that one. Handled nicely by Shaborga. Set by Kramer. Miller taps it over and going Foss Valley just outside the line. Shaborga still has the lead at 19 to 7 at this point. Harris puts that over nicely. Fox Valley seems to just found that empty spot on the floor. Puts the score in 1918. So Shaboy can put a stop right here. Fox Valley tie it all up at 19 apiece. I tell you, Sheboygan did run with this one at the beginning to get the to get the nice nice lead, and right now they're slipping a bit. Let's see if they can. Oh, and oh, Fox Valley puts it right back down at them. Sheboygan fought on their heels just a little bit. Putting the ball in play is Joanna Sharfinski. Off the ceiling. Kramer has a nice play over. That's your one and his blockers off. Fox Valley, no one turn off of that one. Walk back the line, Paige Wirico. Nice effort by Ferris there. Sheboygan <laughs> slipping a little bit, getting a little tired and lazy. Let's see if they can dig in and get that boost of energy to get this win. It's a very close game at 20 to 22. In favor of Fox Valley. Maybe that's the break Sheboygan can take advantage of as Worthman comes in and Kimmy comes up. Kimmy, an outside hitter, standing 5'5. Five five. She's a first year from Howard's Grove. And there you go, point Sheboygan, 22 all. Sheboygan does again what they do best get up in the net and block it. They have made quite an improvement at getting up in the net over the last couple of days. As you see, Wolf got up in the net, a nice serve by Game Rules. at 23 apiece. Very short serve, but well handled by Sheboygan. Point Sheboygan. 
I must say, this is an exciting game as you see both teams running around, diving for, diving on the ground for the ball. Sometimes you gotta get a little scrappy to get that point. And an ace, no return by Fox Valley gives Sheboygan another point. 25-23. I thought that was going to be another ace there. Oh, and a uh, long tip by Sheboygan Point, Fox Valley. intensity back and get his last couple of points. Take the first goal and scratch it. As Fox Valley calls for the net violation, Boy Sheboygan, 26-25 Sheboygan. Kenneth puts that one a little long. I think she was a little bit excited. It's a very close game, and it's almost finished this first match. As Fox Valley returns the favor, but scores for as well. And coming out is Worthman. Coming back in is Kimmy. I believe it was Kimmy before that put Sheboygan back in the lead earlier yeah, in the she game. She did have the, long, the run at the line. Good blocking in front, set by Miller. Karras to hit. Tipped over, oh, nicely by Karras, but can't completely come up with the ball. Scores all tied at 27. Set by Miller. And Gamos put that over. Oh! It's Wirico slaps to the deck to pick that one up. And timeout, Sheboygan. Coach Molecki wants to get a hold back in this game. It's close, 27-28, favor of Fox Valley. Let's see if Sheboygan can dig in and get that lead back and take this first game out of three out of five matchup. Good shot at Coach Morelski, getting her team ready. Sheboygan now has 27 points, and Fox Valley has 28 as we continue. Sarah for Fox Valley. And Kramer swings hard. Long point, Sheboygan, 28 even. Kramer walks the line. Let's see if she's got a couple aces in her back pocket. And the first one. 29-28, let's see if she's got another ace, we'll make it a pair. Game point right here. This is what it comes down to. Game point of the first game of three out of five. Oh. Tries to play the whole net advantage. I just cannot roll that one over. I could only imagine what's going through their heads right now. Oh, they're digging in. Miller set that one over. Boyden gets the point. Amy Gabriel puts that one over. Makes it, makes it 29 30. Got a win by two. So they'll be playing for the next point. At 29 30, you, you got a win by two. Sheboygan has 30. So we'll be playing for the next point. 
Solid serve over. Fox Valley setting up. Nothing. Kramer with the set. Harris swings. For yeah. Sheboygan, win. Sheboygan. Sheboygan takes the first game of the evening. We'll be back with the second game of uh, this evening's matchup of your UW Sheboygan Women Wombats against Fox Valley. And welcome back to TV8 Sports. We have UW Sheboygan in the second game against Fox Valley. Fox Valley starts things off serving long point Sheboygan. We didn't mention before the rest for the evening, this evening's game is Perry Kotke and Dave Dykstra. Fox Valley comes out swinging. I think this is going to be another very close game. Last game came right down to the wire. And Sheboygan was able to pull that off. Well, look at the records, Bob. Uh, Fox Valley sitting at 1-4 and four in conference, 2-9 and nine overall. Tough, a tough attack to dig on that one. That's a heartbreak. Go, you go for it and just miss it. Goes right between your arms. And no return from Sheboygan. Sheboygan struggling a little bit. Fox Valley coming out serving hard and swinging. Let's see if Sheboygan can get those blockers up and disrupt their offense. Go to hit. Blocked up front. Kramer to set. And Karras to hit. Spring looks very organized right there. Miller sets. And Karras with a quick hit. Lyrico bumps. Kramer sets. And Gabriel's hits deep. Bump by Wirko, set by Kramer. And Miller sets that one over. Mm. Point Sheboygan, nice job Miller to find a spot on the floor where nobody was. <laughs> and coming out was Megan Millice, Worthman back in the game. Aiming to serve. Fox Valley puts that one in the net. Point Sheboygan looking at a tied up game of three to three. As this game is going, I can see how, it, how these ladies can break their arm. I mean, they're just jumping all over the place. Let's hope they don't. <laughs> a nice bump. Kramer with a set. And Paige with a nice attack there. Nicely bumped by, dug by Karras. Miller put that one up nicely and Lyrico unable to put that one over. That was Alicia Burgess for Fox Valley. Put that one up. Free ball, let's see what Sheboygan can do. And set up for Worthland, just can't quite get there. Nice try by Kramer to get that outside set. The score right now is three to five Fox Valley's lead. Set by Kramer. And Karras swings hard. Nicely done by Karras. Yeah, the... doing a great job catching people off guard, laying down the kill. You gotta be proud of it. As Tammy Miller serves. For Miller, put that down in your stat sheet. Yudavi Shroyan came out strong in the first game, serving well, swinging hard, and they had the blockers up front. Those blockers kept the hitters for Fox Valley at bay. Miller put one back over. Dug nicely by Wirico. And Karras the swing. Just into the net, a little short.
Worth, I'm gonna put it over. Let's, oh. Yeah. As it just makes it over, Worthman squeaks that one by. That ties the score at six apiece. A nice serve by Karras. Hits the ramp first. But Fox there. Dug nicely by Gabriel. And handled well by Sheboygan. Set Miller as Worthman tries to put that one over. No dice. Coach Mulletsky says, you gotta set that one higher for Worthman. She's six foot tall. <laughs> and out point Sheboygan coming into the game. Megan Mulis coming out, Sarah Worthman. Megan Mulis, so outside hitter, five foot two. Her first year, she's from Random Lake. And she's at the service line. Dug nicely by Miller. Kramer handles that one. And a carry on you to Sheboygan. Point Fox Valley. Nice effort by Sheboygan. Fox Valley was just up in the nets that whole time. Nice hit by Kramer. As it drops, point Sheboygan, nine to eight in favor of Sheboygan. Kramer puts that one nicely over. Kramer with the set. Miller swings hard. And in point Sheboygan. Nice attack by Miller. Sheboygan takes the lead right there again. At nine to eight. Miller, an outside hitter at five foot four, her first year. Ash Boygan from Howard's Grove. Kramer serves that one back over. And a tough one to handle. Kramer only gets a hand on it. Sheboygan should have had some communication on that one, I feel. Well, those quick ones, a little hard to handle. You just, either you're in position or you're not. You do have a great point there. As Karras has a little trouble handling, handling that one. <laughs> Out point Sheboygan. I'd have to give that call to Coach Maletsky. Good call. You could hear her from the bench on that one. That scared me. For a minute there, I thought that was going to be in. Page to serve. Thank you. As Miller handles that one nicely, just taps it over, put it where they're not, and get the point. It's amazing how many points you can score off. That little tip. Sheboygan has been playing well in these last couple of games. Locked up front. Bumped by Kramer. Karras taps it over. As it drops, points Sheboygan. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. That little tip that you put in, it's just amazing how many points you can score. You know, a lot of people like to go for the kill, but this tip is like the most dangerous piece of equipment you can do. You, you like the tip move, huh, Bob? Oh, yeah, Karis swings hard do. there. I feel like all the teams are ready for the kill and are always caught off balance on the tip. That is true. You sneak, sneak that tip in there, and it's kind of like getting the change up after Robin, uh, Roger Clemens hits you with a fastball. That was perfectly put on your part. Long point, Sheboygan, 13-11. Sheboygan lead. Coming into the game is Worthman, coming out, Megan Mulis. Long 
Boy Sheboygan. Sheboygan doing well this game. Having a good all around game. Ooh, that was a tough one to handle. Sheboygan had the blockers up. As Worthman, Worthman puts that one over. Free ball for Schmoyan. Kramer unable to dig that one out of the net. Even though Schmoyan lost that point, they still have the lead at 14 to 13. Dug by Gabriel, is tapped over by Kramer. as the blockers were up, and that one just doesn't fall in favor of Sheboygan off Worthman's arms, and... Sheboygan cannot be dis discouraged by that. And putting the ball in play would be Alicia Burgess for Fox Valley. Miller's swing gets blocked. I missed that call. Did you get that? <laughs> God, I missed that one myself, Bob. Things happening quick tonight. Set by Kramer. And Karis swings. And there it is. Karis with the kill. Here's the swing again. Now oh, that one's into the net. She does have uh, 52 kills on the season so far. That one long. Point Sheboygan scores 17 to 16 in favor of Sheboygan. Or excuse me, it's 16 to 16. Another long attack by Fox Valley. Fox Valley's been long pretty much all match so far. Let's hope Sheboygan keeps putting those blockers up front and forcing Fox Valley to hit over their blockers. And that was not a long, that was not point Sheboygan. Actually, the, the ref is saying uh, UW Sheboygan touched that one. She just waited until they scored instead of switching it over. Okay. A little confusion on that one. Uh, and I'll make sure the score was correct. And there drops an ace. Score 17-17. That's Stephanie Henderson. Morgan saves that one barely, but they save it. Blockers are up. Dug by Karras. Wierko puts it nicely in play, and Karras puts it over. I must say, I do not know what Morgan called that power, but they had two great saves during that series. Milais comes back in the game to serve. Coming out was Worthman. Oh, nice serve by Milais. And Karras leaves a little skin on the ground. Diving for that one, unable to come out that dig. As Kramer taps that one over, point Sheboygan. A nice little uh, tap of love by Kramer there. Yes. She could have went for the kill, but she uh, opted for the, for the love tap. Oh, yes. Showing a little TLC. <laughs> Confusion on Fox Valley's side. 
Nobody on Fox Valley side decided to call that. They all went for it, and it turns for Sheboygan's benefit. They let a free ball drop. Can't take advantage of it. Sheboygan takes the point, and Kramer serves up another nice serve. Blocked nicely by Sheboygan. At the net was Wirico and Gabriels. I love seeing that. There you have a good shot of Wirico and Gabriel, Gabriels at the net. You can always be proud of Sheboygan when they attack the net like that. Another nice serve by Kramer. Uh, blockers are up again. Dug nicely by Kramer. That's Tammy Miller. All five foot four of Tammy Miller taps that one over. Sheboygan leading 22 to 18. Sheboygan's now got this crowd into it. Oh, wow, enough to Set see Sheboygan win this match. As M Miller just sets that one over, trying to go for the placement there. Harris swings hard, blocked. Put over, that, that falls in, points Sheboygan. 23-18, Sheboygan with the lead. Sheboygan's making a beautiful run here. As Fox Valley has to opt to take the time out. Yeah. Fox Valley probably looking for a way to pull Sheboygan in. Sheboygan's not only hitting, they're blocking and they're moving. Getting the digs, getting the balls. Uh, yeah. And then we've got one, two, three, four songs. Sheboygan digging for their second win of this match. They took the first game. Playing well in the first game, hitting, digging, and blocking. They've certainly kept it up in the second game. They've got Fox Valley on their heels. Sheboygan does have a comp comfortable lead at five points. Well, volleyball is a game of streaks. Let's see if they can keep the, keep the heat on and get this, the win out of the second game here. And going back to the line will be Kramer. <laughs> and point Sheboygan 24-18, lead Women Wombats. Again, Sheboygan was attacking in that and is able to pull out those points. Fox Valley struggles to put that one over. Milice bumps it, set by Kramer. And that one hangs on the net. Well, recovery by Sheboygan. Oh, point Sheboygan. Sheboygan keeps scoring points, and it is 25 to 18. Pick it up, Jackie. As you see, Kramer, she's had a, uh, I would say, a sprained right ankle pretty much all the season. She gets that one to drop. Forget about the ankle, she's just got to serve a couple more and they'll have a win of the second game. They now have an eight point lead against Fox Valley. <laughs> oh, just tapped over. She wasn't unable, unable to handle that one. That one snuck by him a little bit. Fox Valley serves it over. Well handled by Sheboygan. Kramer punches that one over. As Fox Valley puts that one on the net, points Sheboygan. Sheboygan with a commanding lead at 27 points, 19. And Paige Wirkle serves that one over. Set by Kramer. And Kara swings hard, a little high on that one. Saw that ball come off the top of her hand of that one. I'm sure she'd like to have that one back and put it down hard. Set by Kramer. Karras puts that one over. Fox Valley swings hard. Well handled by Sheboygan. 
Karis pulled that one back over. Another nice dig by Sheboygan. Hey, McGavin has put that one deep. Valley quite well. Gabriel's at the net was tough at the net there. Long point, Sheboygan, 28-21. Sheboygan with the lead, looking to close out this second game and go 2-0 in the match. Coming in, Sarah Worthman. Coming out, Megan Mulex. I do believe that was the longest volley of the night, and Sheboygan able to keep their composure and make the point. Gabriel's to put that over, nice serve. Set by Karras, set by Kramer. Karras puts that one over. Called out. Looked like a good attack by Karras. Give her an A for effort. That was very close to being in, too. I would not go down on myself if I were her for that one. Yeah, Alicia, Alicia Burgess puts that one in for final, uh, Fox Valley. Set by Kramer, attacked by Karras. Hits it nicely. And Sheboygan up with the block. Tough to handle that one. Carry by Tammy Miller. Sheboygan disarray. Puts that one over. Let's see if they can reset on the defense. Miller taps that one over. Set by Kramer. Right there. As Sheboygan in action sets Fox Valley a set for him, and they take full advantage of it. Sheboygan 28, Fox Valley 24. Fox Valley is clawing its way back into the second game. Miller to take a swing. Blockers were up. Set by Kramer. Karras to swing. A nice attack. A little miscommunication. Coach Maletsky's not happy about that, saying, girls, let's go, finish this up. Sheboygan had an eight-point lead at one point. It's down to a three-point lead. They better get together and pull out this win. Hey, Sheboygan sets Fox, uh, Fox Valley up for that one. Go, Sheboygan's got to dig in here. There's the bump. There's the setup. Karras the swing. Blockers are up. Point Sheboygan, 29-26 Sheboygan. This will be game points. Walking the line, Tammy Miller. She's been playing well all game long, all match long. Nice serve by Miller. Sheboygan tips that one over to go up. Two games to none in this match. I must say that was scary for a minute. Oh, as I'm wrong, the official just called. Sheboygan was in the net. Point Fox Valley. So we're looking at 29-26, I do believe. Crowd not happy about that call. Sheboygan's got to bounce back, dig in. Let's see if they can get this last point. I thought that was quite a late call with the ref. Late call, but a call nonetheless. 29-27. And Sheboygan can't handle that serve, making it 29-28. Fox Valley clawing its way back into this game here. Let's see if Sheboygan's got that final answer. Let's see if they can put the nail in the coffin. Make a stop here. Swing by Kramer. Nice attack by Kramer. Kramer sets. Workman hits. Set by Miller. And Karras to hit. And that's in. Score 30 to 28. UW Sheboygan takes the win of the second game. They're up two games to none in this best out of five matchup. We'll be back in one moment to bring a game three of UW Sheboygan playing UW Fox Valley. 
Join us on a bike ride to raise money for the American Diabetes Association. It's called Tour to Cure. Become one of the extraordinary people who ride in Tour to Cure. Each mile you ride and every dollar you raise will help in the fight against diabetes. Join an enthusiastic group of men, women, and families all across the nation and help improve the lives of people affected by diabetes. You can make a difference by riding in Tour to Cure. Call today. And welcome back to game three of UW Sheboygan Wombats playing UW Fox Valley. Sheboygan taking the first two games with a commanding, well played, well organized style. They're bumping, they're setting, they're hitting, they're attacking, their serves are in. They come out of the huddle saying, Wicka Wicka Wombats, let's see if they keep the fire going. Kramer to serve this first serve of the game. The, the officials say, hang out a second, so we'll hang out a second. Uh, Fox Valley did get some hits in there, but Sheboygan solid on the blocking. They've had blockers up almost every time. The blockers have made good moves for it. Let's see if they can keep that up, keep the energy flowing. And here we go, Kramer to serve. Should be a quick night for Sheboygan if they can pull this last match off. And Miller puts that one over. Sheboygan could get the sweep here, go 3-0 and, and get done early. A nice attack by Fox Valley. Catches Sheboygan off guard there. And a strong hit by Fox Valley. Fox Valley takes a very early lead at two to nothing. I believe that was just the love of Fox Valley with that swing. And a short serve catches the Sheboygan off guard again. Sheboygan on their heels. Let's see if they can get on their toes. Sheboygan has won the last two matches, but they better not think that this last one will just be an easy win. Last point, Fox Valley, Sharfinski for Fox Valley will put the ball back in play. Dug by Miller, set by Kramer, attacked by Miller. Nicely done. Miller puts one down. That gives you going in the first point of the match. Down 1-4, maybe they can roll off some aces. Paige Weirko to serve. Handled by Sheboygan, as Karras puts that one in the net. Timmy puts that one over. Page digs it, Kramer sets, and Page attacks in the back row, nicely done. Miller with the set to Karras. Karras swings hard. On Sheboygan's side right now. Set for Miller. Taps that one over. Fox Valley goes down the floor to get it. Nice hustle by Miller. Keeps the ball in play. A little confusion by UW Sheboygan, and they can't put it over. Nice effort by Miller to get close to stands to keep that ball in play. Unfortunately, some miscommunication. Sheboygan just lets it fall. Sheboygan's coach was not prowling on that. As there you go, Sheboygan gets a point. 2-6. Favor of Fox Valley. We haven't heard that much tonight in favor of Fox Valley. Fox Valley with a lead. As Worthman comes out. Excuse me, I meant Worthman comes in. Dog nicely by Kramer. Set by Page. And Miller puts that one over. Blockers were up. Dog nicely by Page and Miller. 
Coach Muskie saying, hey, get low, Worthman, you're six foot tall. You're a foot below the net, get low. That was Alicia Burgess with a serve for Fox Valley. And there you go, Bob, there's your timeout. Coach Molenski not happy in this third game. Wondering where, where did the fire go? Where did the movement go? Sporgans is beating themselves up right now. I, I don't believe it's Fox Valley's making such great plays. It's a Sheboygan. Kind of shooting themselves in the foot. As we had a nice shot of the crowd. There's everyone. You know, some people waving high. There we go. Not everybody's shy. <laughs> And this crowd has been vocal. Give them, give, them, give them an A for effort. They have been yelling for their team as this is the last home game for UW Sheboygan. And so far, up to this game, Sheboygan's been doing a great job in showing the crowd what the Wombats are all about. Next up for UW Sheboygan is the conference tournament at UW Waukesha, October 15th and 16th. So whatever you have it is, unless you know you're wrong. I don't know. <laughs> and we're adjusting the score at the scorer's table. <laughs> and how you doing there, Bob? Say hi to the camera. There you go. Here we go, game on. As they say in Wayne's world. I must say that was a little bit of a dramatic moment between the ref and the and Terris puts that one down. That time out did pay off as Sheboygan regrouped and grabbed the point right there. There you go. We got to get the scorekeeper to keep on asking questions. Help Sheboygan regroup. A nice serve by Sheboygan. And point Fox Valley. That one sneaks in. That was very close to being out. Just catches the line. And that serve doesn't make it over. That's point Sheboygan, four to eight. Fox Valley leads. At the line, Jessica Karras. And a nice serve out of her. Sheboygan handles that nicely. Returns some of their own, and it falls on the side of Fox Valley, point Sheboygan. Sheboygan has now cut the lead of Fox Valley by three. Sheboygan five, Fox Valley eight. And just to put it back in play. And yeah, she serves that one out. All right, let's go. And after that timeout, I noticed that uh, Fox Valley put in the little barrel. Just long. <laughs> Set by Miller. Kramer goes up, taps that one over, and it's down. There you go, Kramer. Again with the TLC shot, the tap shot. I must uh, say, with any past three matches, Kramer's been all over the place, keeping Sheboygan alive. She's hustling to keep that score close. <laughs> and that attack is long. Oh. That is Sheboygan's point. Fox Valley was calling for the tip there, didn't get it from the refs. Ref said, no way, point Sheboygan. Another nice serve. Kramer with the set. Well handled by Sheboygan. And Karras puts that one over. Miller digs that, Kramer with the set. 
Karen swung hard, but Fox Valley is getting a little fired up. Put that one right back on him. Let's see if Sheboygan can stifle Fox Valley right here and put this game away. And coming out again was the uh, libero for Fox Valley. And Kramer tries to play that one. These girls have given them everything they got. Never giving up on a play. Score 12 to six in favor of Fox Valley. And he's gonna call it a carry, point Fox Valley. At the line for Fox Valley, Sarah Benish. Miller taps that one over. Fox Valley swings, but the blockers are there for Sheboygan. And Fox Valley puts that one long. They put the score at seven Sheboygan, 13 Fox Valley. Sheboygan needs to make a run right here. Kramer at the service line. Second year student from New Holstein. Kramer with the set. Miller puts that one over. Fox Valley swings, but Sheboygan digs. Kramer sets, and Miller to swing again. Puts that one down, points Sheboygan. Nice swing by Miller. So Sheboygan can keep this up. They're down eight to 13 right now. Let's see if they can get on their streak and keep on going. Long serve by Kramer. Nice save. Karras hit that one over. And a nice, nice hit from the back row. And Stephanie Kimmy with a nice attempt on the dig there. Tough one to handle. She got down for that one. That serve is short. That serve was by uh, Johanna Sharofinski. Point Sheboygan walking back to the line right now is Paige Wirico. Nice serve by Paige. Ooh, Sheboygan just gets that one over. Jazz just taps that over and nice up front. Amy Gabriel is doing well. Unable to come up with that one though. Sheboygan was scrambling. Score is 9 to 15. Fox Valley. As Miller taps that one over. Somehow Fox now is safe there. Doug Nice by Kimmy and Jess goes the hit again into the net. All right, let's go. Come on. She's a little out of control up for that one. You gotta stay out of control when you're up in the air like that. Kelly Ott served that one for the Fox Valley. Nice job by Miller to put that one down. Perfect placement on that scene. Coming into the game, Worthman. Coming out with Stephanie Kimmy. Nice serve. And a nice serve by Gabriels. A middle hitter, 5'8", first year student from Sheboygan Christian. That is got the crowd back into this game. All right. With the crowd fired up, let's see if they can help Sheboygan, oh, as I speak, help Sheboygan get the third win of this matchup. And coming into the game for Fox Valley is Megan Labar. She's in, she is Libero, the specialist in the back row play. Sheboygan handles the serve nicely. Worthman bumps that one over. Sheboygan, the point. Sheboygan's down by five right now. Let's hope they can get on some sort of run and close the gap. Tammy Miller serve. Oh, nice serve. And 
Fox Valley puts that one where no one is. Morgan unable to move and come up with that one. Coach Maletsky yelling at him to get down, get low. And a nice serve by Fox Valley, handled well by Sheboygan. Worthen gets blocked at the net. Free ball, let's see what Sheboygan can do with it. Miller with this. And Karras puts that one long. Karras says, I'll hit that back over right at you. Wirico with the bump. Miller with the bump. And Kramer puts that one over. Sheboygan's been on the pad here. Wirico with the bump, Miller with the set. And Karras has slammed that one over off the net and down it goes, points Sheboygan. The Wombats on the attack, they have the Cyclones on their heels. And another good serve by Karras. A nice attack by Paige Wirico. Fox Valley trying to come up swinging there. Can't get that one over. Point Sheboygan. The score is now Port Sheboygan, 18 Fox Valley. You ready? You ready? And they're saying that was tipped by Fox Valley. Point Sheboygan. Jessica Karras with another nice serve. Got a little zip on that ball. Fox Valley plays that one. And they do get it played over. Kramer to hit. Nice hit by Kramer. Dug nicely by Gabriels. Wirico puts that one over. <laughs> Miscommunication on the side of Fox Valley gives the point to Sheboygan. Sheboygan has closed the gap to two points. Sheboygan 16, Fox Valley 18, and Karras put the ball in play. Another nice serve by Karras. She's on a good run. Ready? Yeah! And Sarah Workman, the first year player, never played, never really played volleyball in high school, blocks that one and puts it down for Sheboygan. Point Sheboygan, 17 18. This is getting very Another nice serve. for Sheboygan. Yeah! And Workman puts that one over. Yeah! And again, Workman is on the move for this. For this volley here, GW Fox Valley wants to take a timeout. There you see the six foot Sarah Workman playing good at the net tonight. The run that Sheboygan's putting on right now makes him look like they're unstoppable. I can't believe the first part of this match was the same team, even. Momentum is going their way. As you see, the huddle's going well. Coach Maletsky's got some tips for them to keep them playing well. Score tied 18 18. Sheboygan playing a all around solid game. I think one of the biggest improvements from our first broadcast, Sheboygan able to come up and block at the net. Solid blocks at the net. That's forced opponents to hit over the top of them. Not With only that, but they're going to do such a better job on just basic communication throughout the whole team. Getting that bump sets spike rhythm going, keeps everything nice and smooth. And wicka wicka wombats, here we go. The wombats come out of the huddle. Uh, Jessica Karras to serve. She's been on a hot streak of serves. Let's see if she can keep that rolling. Pull those guns out and put some aces down. Another solid serve. Nice work at the net by Kramer. Jackie Kramer. Sheboygan relentless, not giving up here. Clawed their way back to a 1918 score. Sheboygan is sore one. And there's a long serve. Fox Valley plays it, points Sheboygan. Well, if they're going to play it, she might as well keep serving it there. 
Let's see if she gets this one. That one just tries to play the short serve there and just a little too short. At this point, Spring has a one point lead at the score of 20 to 19. Kramer puts that one over and just long. Score is 20 to 20. Good call by Kara. She says, that's out. We're letting that one go. Coming in is Kimmy. Coming out is Worthman. Nice job for Sarah Worthman at the net there. A nice serve handled by Fox Valley. Nicely dug by Karras, set by Miller. And Paige puts that one over. Kimmy bumps. Miller sets up Gabriels. Gabriels puts that one down. Amy Gabriels. Nice. Well, she seems to be all over Fox Valley. Spring will not let Fox Valley get back in this game. It's a close game, 22 to 20, but it does look like Sheboygan does have their number. Another good serve by Sheboygan. And Tammy Miller puts that one over for the point. She's pumped up. You can't blame her. Very exciting time right now for Sheboygan. Sheboygan looking to go 3-0 in, in this match and take the win. I do believe this would be Sheboygan's first time on sweeping a team this year. It's a miscommunication, not talking between Kramer and Miller. Coming into the game for Fox Valley. Number two, Alicia Burgess coming out. Megan Labarge. Bump by Wirico, set by Miller. Hit by Kramer. Solid hit, no return. Fox Valley's on the deck, but cannot get the ball. The score right now is 24 Shimori, 21 Fox Valley. As Kramer walks back to the line, a 98% serves rate. Solid server. The blocking up front keeps that one over. Dug by Karras, set by Kramer. Hit by Miller. Looking really powerful right now. Well organized, set plays. Karras punches that one over. Nice save. Fox Valley catches Sheboygan out of position. They drop for the hit, and they Fox Valley, Sheboygan drops back for the hit, and Fox Valley taps that one over, going with the TLC, the tender love and touch on that one, huh, Bob? Oh, yes. All right, all right. Set by Kramer and attacked by Miller. She, oh, she just taps that one over, sets that one over. Points Sheboygan, 25-22, Sheboygan is steam rolling. Keeping it going, making her way back to the line is Paige Wirico. As you can see why I think this the nice little tip is the deadliest way of scoring. Page, a 96% server. Ooh, the blockers were off, but they, Fox Valley just hit right over the top of the blockers. It was nobody even in the area for Shibuya. Do not let that happen again. Set by Kramer. As Miller taps that one over, tries. Ooh, and that one falls off the net. Point, Fox Valley, 25-24. Sheboygan leads by one. Every one of these matches has gone right down to the wire like this one. Solid hit by Weirko. Fox Valley swinging, and oh, they find the empty spot again. Nice dive by Karras. She hits the deck again. All right, come on. Kramer with the set. On. Amy Gabriel taps that one over, and it's in. Falls it. Oh, I thought that, that looked into me. I thought for sure that was in. That 
one look that one looked pretty into me. I, I can't agree with that call. But timeout Sheboygan, Sheboygan looking to take a timeout and keep a hold of this game. We have a score of 27 Fox Valley, 25 Sheboygan. Sheboygan looking to get back in the lead and finish out this match. Coach Wetzky just say, hey, get back to basics, do what we can do, and let's finish this game out. I do not look happy on the score right now. Uh, probably not by that last call. Doug Nice and Mashloyan set by Kramer, and it's over. Sheboygan might have got away with the net ruling there. Ah, uh, it looked like good body control to me. We'll take that, huh, Bob? Oh, there we go. That was a nice hit. Fox Valley on the attack. Puts that one in the back corner. Prime plays the hit to. Fox Valley takes full advantage of it. Score 25-28 in favor of Fox Valley. Fox Valley takes the one right off the top of the net and says, here, take it back. Kaylee Ott serves for Fox Valley. Kaylee Ott. Karras takes a big swing. Miscommunication by Sheboygan between Kimmy and Lyrico lets that one drop. Fox Valley wins that one, and we're going to have another game yet. Sheboygan can't come up with a sweep, but ladies and gentlemen, join us for game four out of the best of five at UW Sheboygan Women Wombats are taking on UW Fox Valley on TV8 Sports. And welcome back to TV8 Sports, the Women Wombats taking on the UW Fox Valley in game four. The Women Wombats not able to make a sweep of the match. Losing the third game, they have been very commanding and very controlling in the first two games. Fox Valley serves. At the line, Joanna Sharofinski. And the officials are ready. We have Dave Dykstra and Perry Kotke. Sheboygan unable to return that serve. Go, you guys. All right, come on. Get it back. That was long point. Sheboygan score one to one. Let's see if Sheboygan can take a commanding lead early. Going back to the service line, Paige Wirko. I really hope Sheboygan can take this game so we do not go to a fifth game. Well, uh, Fox Valley was hitting in last game. Sheboygan didn't have much of an answer for their hits. Let's see if they can get those blockers back up. They have, they do have some height on, height on the team. They got a six-footer, some five-eighths. Harris puts that one down. And a nice dig by Megan Mulis. Tough one to handle. Megan gets under it. Back in line for Fox Valley is Fox Valley is Kaylee Ott. Tammy Miller to hit. Blockers were up. Hitting is Karras. Free ball. Let's see what Sheboygan can do. Karras to hit. Takes a nice swing and just a little below the net, she can't put that one over. A lot of fire, she's got a lot of, a lot of fire in that one. Never giving up on the ball either. Miller with a nice attack, gets that one to drop, points to Morgan, nice attack, Tammy Miller. Five foot, the five foot four, Tammy Miller can put that one down. And coming in the game, number two, Sarah Worthman. 
Let's see if that six foot tall Sarah Worthman can get some blocks going. Amy Gabriel with a nice serve. Nice dig by Wirko. Nice set. Terrace tries to set it long. Fox Valley barely puts that over. Kramer sets. Nice. And a nice play. Nice attack by Sheboygan to put it down the sideline and get the point. Gabriel puts the serve over. Nice serve. And the official says that was on the line. Point, Fox Valley. I must say, Fox Valley is getting these calls going their way. Set by Kramer, and attack by Miller. Miller puts that one down. She's had a couple already this game. Not to mention the match. Is only down by one point. Definitely in this game. They're down, down by one. They're definitely in this game. <laughs> nice serve. Free ball for Sheboygan. Nice Set set by Miller. Karras takes the big swing. Gabriel just gets a touch on that. I believe that was Amy who just got a touch on that one. Nice serve by Fox Valley. Sheboygan handles it well. Kramer to hit. Looking for the spot, can't find it. Nice block by Kramer. Worthman taps that one over. Point Sheboygan. Nice blocking by Kramer. Kramer's hitting and blocking. Good block by Kramer lets Worthman put that one over. Okay. By all means, right? <laughs> nice save. Set by Karras. Miller bumps. Weirko puts it over. A nice save by Fox Valley surprises Sheboygan. Sheboygan thinking that was down. I gotta, think everybody thought that was going to be over right Well, there. gotta keep playing till that whistle blows. <laughs> Worthman puts that one over. Boy, a very strong moment right there. Set by Miller. Nice attack by Kramer. Kramer puts that one in. Point Sheboygan coming in the game, Megan Mealice. Coming out, Sarah Worthman. <laughs> the score is now six Sheboygan, seven Fox Valley. Sheboygan to serve. Realize puts that one over. Yeah. And a nice attack by Fox Valley. Sheboygan did have one blocker up. They hit right over the blocker. That one almost took out the line, Judge. And the official gives the call to Sheboygan, saying that was in, point Sheboygan. About time there was a call to start going Sheboygan's way. <laughs> and Karras not able to get that one over. Set was by Muleheis.
Nice dig by Amy. Miller with a good swing. Sheboygan not able to return that, not able to dig it. And jo Joanna Sharofinski to serve for Fox Valley. And a nice hit by Gabriel. Kara says, I got one for you. And there you go, point Sheboygan. They put the score at eight to 10. Sheboygan's down by two. Get it now, Wild Man. <laughs> Nice serve by Wirko. And Megan has trouble digging that one. Megan Mulez, a little trouble to dig that one. Nice attack by uh, Fox Valley, though. <laughs> and Karis puts that one over. Right up Gabe, is Sheboygan. Sheboygan had Miller and Gabriel's at the net. Coming in, Sarah Worthman going out, and Megan Millis and at the line, Amy Gabriel's. Gabriel's. Wow, that looked like it would have been a carry. Oh, well played ball. Worthman tries to put that one cross court. Nice idea, no one there, a little long. Coming into the game for Fox Valley. Number 10, Megan Labarge. A nice hit by Paige. She hits a little off balance and gets it to fall. Game says back and forth. Ooh. Good go close game for Sheboygan and Miller can't serve that one over. Score, Fox Valley 13, Sheboygan 10. Dog nicely by Sheboygan. Lyrico puts that one over. Blockers up, a nice attack by Fox Valley. Sheboygan unable to dig that one. Morgan guys put a stop to this. They're down by four right now. Well, I can imagine now the blockers are getting a little tired. They might not be getting as high. Fox Valley is able to hit right over the top of them. Let's see if they can dig them up. Oh, and Kramer steps over the line. Score now is 10, 15. Fox Valley's lead. Just a love for Fox Valley puts that one up. Oh, that's Kramer with a nice block. Jackie Kramer. <laughs> Point Sheboygan. The situation there. It was Sheboygan. Sheboygan had the blockers up, but Fox Valley getting one through. Fox Valley right there went with some guns. And a nice attack by Wirko. Gives a point for Sheboygan and the serve. Coming in, Megan Millice, stepping out, Sarah Worthman. Now at the service line is Megan. A nice network by Amy Gabriels. As that one just falls in. Score is 17-12 in favor of Fox Valley. Oh, 
Morgan having troubles handling that one. At the line for Fox Valley is Sarah Benish. Morgan cannot let Fox Valley have Kramer puts that one over. Gabriels puts that one back over. Nice network by Gabriels. Ava Gabriels with the block up front in the middle. Just what Sheboygan needs to do to put those hitters from Fox Valley on their heels. Sheboygan showing a little bit of life in that series. Kramer to serve. A nice short serve by Kramer. Just dig that one out of the net. Wierko puts it over. From the backcourt, save that. And that free ball by Sheboygan lets Fox Valley set up and get a bump set spike. All right, come on. Your score 19 13 in favor of Fox Valley. <laughs> Nicely dug by Harris, and Miller not able to put it over. Sheboygan letting the match slip away here. We go. They're fighting to take the win of the match. Good to have it to a play by the ring and lie out of bounds. At the line, Paige Wirko. Point Sheboygan. 20 to 15 in favor of Fox Valley. such a disappointment when you go up to the block and somehow that ball finds its way in between the, in the net. Karras puts that one over. Blockers are up and it pays off. Points Sheboygan. Nice job with the blocking up front for Sheboygan. That is what Sheboygan needs to do to keep the hitters from Fox Valley from hitting over the top of them. Just get up, get high and Get the blocks. Yes, yeah, stuff it right back in their face, you could say. All right, let's go, Amy! Amy Gabriel's a serve. As Fox Valley hits that one in the net, point Sheboygan. It puts the score at 17 Sheboygan, 21 Fox Valley. Turn by the Cyclones. Point, Wombats. The crowd is getting back in on this game. Amy Gabriel's a solid server. Side out, point, Fox Valley. Coming in for Fox Valley. Megan LaBarge, coming out, Alicia Burgess. <laughs> Amy Gabriel just puts that one a hair long. Right idea. <laughs> Is Sheboygan tired? Looking, possibly looking a little tired. Let's see if they can get their win. Serves long, point Sheboygan. Picking up the ball at the line, Tammy Miller. Yeah. Oh. As Kramer plays tough at the net, Jackie Kramer getting up at the net and putting that one down. Oh, that's exciting volleyball when someone just goes up and pops it right down for the kill. Another good serve out of Miller. And Kramer says, do it once, do it twice. Hey, give that one back and let her do it three times. Oh. 
Boy, Sheboygan scores now. 22, Sheboygan, 23, Fox Valley. Very beautifully done. Well scripted. Let's not count our blessings. Another good serve. And Kramer hits. And there it is, points to Boygan. Nice attack by Jackie Kramer. Score 23 to 23. I'm sure you can hear the home crowd pretty fired up here. Oh, they're loving it right now. Blockers up and it's long. That's, that's what happens when you constantly have your blockers up, up front and jumping. The hitter's got to hit over them and they'll hit long. Nice serve by Miller. Oh, a nice attack by Fox Valley. Just falls in. Amy Gabriel's on the deck, for the, on the floor for that one. Fox Valley's just laying there. You better know that. Miami's totally giving up here. Fox Valley just won't go away. Nice hit by Kramer. Dog nicely by Gabriel's. Harris hits that one nicely. Point Sheboygan, 25-24. In favor of Sheboygan. And Jessica Karras to serve. Strong, fiery kind of server. Good solid serve. Has Fox Valley on their heels. Free ball for Sheboygan. Set by Miller. Attack by Kramer, nice attack. <laughs> Nicely done by Paige Wirko. Paige puts that one down. Sheboygan 26, Fox Valley 24. At the line, Jessica Karras. Another good strong serve. Oh, tough dig on that one. Catches Amy Gabriel's off guard. The intensity in this room is just outstanding right now. And the serve hits the line. Point Fox Valley. Tell you what, Sheboygan does have a fire underneath them. Compared to the beginning of the season, they're motivated. Let's see if Shawan can answer and score some quick points here and take the match. Dug by Amy. Nice. Kramer puts that one over off the net. Nicely done by Paige Wirico. Puts that one down. Coming in, Megan Mealis. Coming out, Sarah Worthman. Score, Sheboygan 27, Fox Valley 26. Strong serve by Megan Millis. Nice hustle by Fox Valley, and that one's out. Hit the deck for Fox Valley, Joanna Sharafinsky. Sheboygan 28, Fox Valley 26. Crowd getting into it. Served by Millis. Outstanding blocking up front for Sheboygan. However, it does not fall in. Point Fox Valley. Sheboygan 28, Fox Valley 27. This crowd is getting out of control here. Good set. Kramer with a good strike. Jackie Kramer hitting well all game. Nice job for her tonight. Down here. And look who you see at the line, Jackie Kramer serving for match point. Fox Valley tips that one over. Let's see if Yenema Shuoyan can use their defense to win this match. Match point 
for Sheboygan. Someone get some miracle grow. Amy needs to grow an inch. Score 29 29. Got a win by two. Getting insane in here right now. Be there! Sheboygan not able to return that one. Sheboygan definitely has their back against the wall now. Down by one, 29 30. Fox Valley needs one point to take the second, their second win of the match and tie it at all at two games apiece. Sheboygan looking to take the match here. Good hit by Miller, that's in. Solid hit by Miller, that was definitely in. Point Sheboygan, score 30-30. Sheboygan regrouped on that series and scored 30-30. Got it one by two, Sheboygan's got to score twice, put the nail in the coffin, get the win. Nice serve by Sheboygan. As Kramer gets that one over. Bump by Milos. Kramer bumps that one over. Free ball for Fox Valley. Blockers are up. Fox Valley with a nice like 30, 31 favor of Fox Valley. Sheboygan's just gotta put the, just put it away, put the match away. They gotta dig down, but Fox Valley's got the run right now. Game point for Fox Valley. Karen swings hard and it's out. Oh. That'll be. Like we're going into a fifth game now. We're going the full five games, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll be back for the fifth game as UW Sheboygan takes on UW Fox Valley on TV8 Sports. My dad is a hero. He goes into places normal people want to get away from. He rescues families, makes everyone safe. But the best thing he can do is come home. The U.S. Fire Administration reminds you to protect the heroes who protect our lives. Have a smoke alarm on every floor. Test it monthly. Replace the battery yearly. Do your part to get out before they have to come in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Game 5 of UW Sheboygan against Fox Valley. Kramer serves for Sheboygan. Sheboygan took an early lead in this series. By taking the first two games, but Fox Valley has fought back and has forced it to the fifth game. Fox Valley just would not go away. Sheboygan playing commanding, however, not able to put the game away. Fox Valley not able to put over the net. Sheboygan had the blockers there. Point Sheboygan. Sheboygan serve. As we see Wirico go back to the line. What they're doing down there is they have a certain rotation that uh, servers have to follow. And uh, the scorer has a different rotation down than what Sheboygan was going to serve with. You can't just exactly throw anybody in for the serve. So they're reviewing it right now and making sure they get the right server in there. Definitely. I guess otherwise you can cheat somehow. Right. Right. Your good servers the whole time. You got a hot server, you keep serving. I make it fair somehow. <laughs> well, six is going back to the line. So we'll go with Paige. Paige putting the ball in play. Tip. For five foot four, she does a nice job of the net there, Tammy Miller. And that one falling short in the net. Not able to dig it out. Let's go. Get up there. And 
the officials call that a carry. Coming in, Worthman. Coming out, Stephanie Kimmy. All right, let's go! Woo! Go, Amy! Side go, Amy! Solid server. Ah! Nice dig by Kramer. Nice set. And Worthman gets it over. Blockers are up. Fox Valley puts it in the net, points to Boygan. Another solid serve by Amy Gabriels. As Fox Valley puts it back in the net, Sheboygan taking full advantage of that. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. Get the points early and get the game won. It's a great serve by Gabriels. That sounded like it hurt. Fox Valley leaving a little skin on the ground. And almost drew a tear to my eye. Another solid serve. Be ready! The blockers are up and oh, doesn't fall their way. Point, Fox Valley. Harris takes a big swing. Blockers are up, nice job. Wirico puts it over. Kramer bumps, Miller sets. Terrence with a big swing, points to Boygan. There was definitely some power behind that one. It went right through the blockers of Fox Valley. Hitting through the blockers, not over them, not around them, but right through them. There it is, Jessica Karras right there on your screen, hitting through the blockers. Miller puts that one up. And Karras is in the net, point, Fox Valley. Set and they're going to call that a carry. Framer a little frustrated with herself on that one, hits it in the net. Fox Valley just tied the game up at six apiece. Kramer digs it, Miller sets it, and Worthman hits that one over. And Karras puts that one in the net. Timeout, Coach Bolesky wants a timeout before this one gets two out of hand. The supporting players are really looking down on themselves. As they are beating themselves up in this last couple of uh, They are They are looking frustrated. and. and uh, you know that last game, lost the last game real close. Got to put that one behind him and come out, come out fiery, come out swinging in this game, and put this match away. Long night for them going to the fifth game. Definitely with uh, Rachel Lefebvre out. Uh, you know, missing some height there. All around solid player. And others have been stepping up. Jackie Kramer is stepping up nicely. Amy Gabriel is stepping up nicely. Morgan can't return that one. Final games so at this point will switch sides. That's what they have with the board point of the game. As they're uh, switching sides, remember in the fifth game they only play up to uh, 15. So they switch sides. Short. Oh, we got a 
timeout on the court. Not by either team, just by the official. Five or uh, it's a little, right now, annotating the score is a little different in the fifth game. Remember, they only play up to 15 in the fifth game, thus the switching sides during the game. Matt has gathered for the game. There we go, that's Dave right there. Let's see if we can give him a... Doesn't know he's on camera, that's all right. He'll be surprised later as you watch TV8 Sports. Crowd hoping that Schwartz can come together and pull out a win here tonight. Short serve, dug nicely by Kramer. Karras hits nicely, blocked. Dug by Gabriel, and it's out. Fox now is really playing up at this point. 6 to 10, Sheboygan's got to get on the horse and ride. Another great serve, Sheboygan can't dig it. This is not looking like the same Sheboygan team we saw earlier today. Well, they're having, having trouble digging the serves. And that's in, all that in. There we go, Jackie Kramer stepping up again. Hopefully that will be the spark for the major to get back into this game. Score 7-11 in favor of Fox Valley. Nice serve by Sheboygan. Set by Miller. Kramer hits. And it's in. More than another point. Jessica Karras at the line. You see it right there. Nice serve by Karras. Fox Valley swinging hard, and that's long. That was Joanna Sharofinski for Fox Valley. They have her listed as 5'6", from Wyoiga, Fremont. Another good serve from Sheboygan. Set by Miller. And the official says Sheboygan was in the net. Point, Fox Valley. That was a very touchy call, I thought. Yes, right away. We're looking at a score of 13 to nine. Sheboygan is down. Once again, game point. No, it's not game point yet. Close, you're one point off there, big guy. Jumping the gun, you could say. Let's see if Sheboygan gets some answers. Oh, that does not look like it. Sheboygan getting tired. Wearing down at the end with their backs against the wall. They gotta dig in. Match point in favor of there it is, now we're at 10-14, Sheboygan with 10. Coming in is Stephanie Kimmy. This is what Sheboygan needs right here, right now. Stephanie Kimmy, an outside hitter, 5-5. First year here from Howard's Grove, she serves it up. That's Fox Valley, out of place. No communication, Let's one fall. 11-14, Sheboygan with their backs against the wall. They gotta keep scoring the win. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That game goes to Fox Valley, giving them the win of the match. Fox Valley takes the match. My name's John Wicker. Beside me is Bob's, Bob Broxma. I'd like to thank our cameraman, Brian Andrews. I'd like to say thank you to the line judges, Andrew Stewart and Will Fisher. Your referees for tonight's game was Perry Cott and Dave Dykstra. Remember, UW Sheboygan will be traveling for the conference tournament at UW Waukesha on October 15th and 16th. This was our last home game of the year. Bob, I have to say, they did a nice job over the season. They have. It's too bad that they were not able to pull out tonight with the wind, but... But ladies and gentlemen, have a good evening and catch me at the conference tournament. Thanks for watching TV8 Sports.